What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Well, we got it back, boys. We got it back. If anybody has been on the channel for a long time, they know what this is. It's a different color. It's a different color. Same Jeep. Let's see, it's hiding in plain sight. This is my supercharged 96 Cherokee I sold two years ago. And I bought it back. The person that bought it didn't really know what they had going on with it. It needed bigger fuel injectors. It needed... Uh, it needs a couple things. It needs water methanol injection for the seventh injector. But this thing should be pretty dang sweet. I got a lot of plans for this Jeep. A lot of plans. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. This thing is pretty sweet. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Well, we got her up. So, we got ourselves a Boosted Technologies M90 Supercharger with a 7th injector running off a split second fuel timing calibrator. How to relocate the power steering reservoir. The people that I sold it to, my, don't mind the sand, literally, I'm going to drop some clips of this thing running. The day I bought it, I took it to my buddy's property. We ended up trial running this thing out and worked out a couple kinks on it. But it has a Davy Craig's fan controller and how they wired up the fan, the fans. I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. Play on words. But we're going to go ahead and clean this up and we're going to go relocate this i kind of want to do like a hard line over to this reservoir and i might turn my windshield wiper fluid reservoir try to get it over there so i could put a methanol my water meth tank over here but the biggest problem that this guy was having that he said it wasn't hitting boost so i started looking into it and i was like well i know that when i had it my bypass boost control or uh, this is a bypass boost bypass valve and um the arm on the bottom of it fucking sticks all the time like it goes just stuck right there The thing was just stuck. Let's get you guys in here. I think that's the problem. See that nut? That is what is causing it not to freaking. As soon as I hit the throttle, that thing's binding up, which is allowing it not to get all the boost. And we need all the boost. Currently, this is on a five pound pulley. I have, this is a three inch pulley. It's a three inch pulley. I have a 2.65 inch pulley and then a 2.35 inch pulley. This thing has, uh, I'd say probably 5,000, 6,000 miles on it. I'm gonna change the supercharger fluid. Uh, I plan on putting my air intake I plan on taking it, putting it over here through the cow and then have it running. And then I want to put it side exit, just like a normal snorkel. I need to get an antenna. My, my winch wasn't working and found out that they didn't have the ground hooked up for it. Silly. But this thing's got Mishimoto fans, 3E fans. Let's start it up. So excuse the interior, but if it, you guys know my videos, I got a two-door Cherokee, it's a 94. 
it's got the gray interior as well and i'm stealing the console i'm gonna put this console back in um they upgraded my driver's seat don't mind the dirt like i said i was playing it's all over the place but not too bad let's step in this thing yeah we got fuel pressure but the fuel pressure center unit is not hooked up we got boost we also got my af uh afr gauge and this thing starts up pretty freaking mint let me put this down Fourteen point seven, fourteen point four. Boost is running. Let's see. It only hit zero. Zero pounds of boost. We got forty something pounds of oil pressure. here they straight piped it and i'm not a huge fan of it Not too shabby for a four liter. They straight piped it. I'm not a big fan of it. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? But Chief is back. Chief is back. We got a three inch, or not a three inch. This is a four and a half inch long arm kit. It's a Rusty's lift. We got upgraded ball joints. We got 33KO2s. This thing ain't too bad. This thing ain't too bad. Well, I appreciate y'all dropping by. I just wanted to make a quick video and an update showing y'all the new and old Cherokee. Drop a sub if you're new. If you're not, appreciate y'all stopping by once again. Stay tuned, Easy Jeeping family.